Welcome to my wardrobe where trends from 2019 live on and half the clothes don't even fit me. It's time for some spring cleaning when in actual fact it's autumn here in Australia. Which means it's finally cold enough to not get heat exhaustion while trying on all of these clothes. Which actually doesn't look too bad because I've got such a big wardrobe. Apart from all the shit on the floor. And I'm also low-key kind of scared that nothing's gonna fit. Oh my god. Do I want the mini microphone? Do I want to be sassy? I guess this will do. Testing, testing, we have a microphone and if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna be holding this for the whole rest of the video. So as you can see, this is a Unif top. I thrifted it when I was in America one time. I should wear it way more often. I don't know why I don't. This is a keeper and honestly, most of this whole spring cleaning is gonna be probably an anti-spring cleaning because I'm gonna end up keeping a lot of stuff. But ideally, the goal is to keep everything I plan on continuing to wear, fix anything that that needs fixing. Sell or donate anything that's just not working for me. But because I'm a little bit rash when I do the spring cleaning most of the time, I'm gonna set boundaries where I can put stuff in storage. Because I think too many things are thrown away and I'll probably like them in the future. Like there's been so many things that I've gotten rid of that I'm like, hey, where is that? <laughs> it's kind of a cop out, I know. That's what we're doing here today because I don't wanna throw out too many things. Okay, cool, don't hate me. Pro tip, add sunglasses to make your outfits cooler and make you wanna keep things more. So this top, very similar to the last, again thrifted in America. It's more of a vest thing. I would layer it with things. Have I done that since I've bought it? No, I have not. I almost think I need to do a whole video of styling things I never wear. Maybe this is one of them. Again, I'm under the impression that it's an anti-spring cleaning because I love this. Again, thrifted in America. This is a Lisa's Scar top and it's got little cowboy boots. Now, it kind of hurts me right now that I'm not doing any cool transitions, but I simply don't have the time. Puff sleeve shirts are kind of an essential for me because I like to layer them with dresses. I reckon I'll just do a speed round of all the shirts because I think I'll probably keep most of them. This top is an awesome example of like a thrift flip you could do if you don't like one of your items. This used to be like a mini dress and I got my Nana to just cut it. We will be keeping her <laughs> along with all the things up there. It'll get exciting, I promise, when we get to pants because I have way too many pairs of pants and I'm pretty sure most of them don't fit. Now, even though this top is super, super cute, I have the same one in white. I thrifted them both on the same day. I just never gravitate towards the blue. I feel like I have a lot of sentimental things like this top. Me and my Nana experimenting with building a t-shirt from many other t-shirts. Surely there will be a time where I actually wear this shirt. I think it's because I wish I sized down. It's just like a little bit loose and I think I want it like really fitted. It is from Big Bud Press, which I love, which is why I don't want to get rid of it. I think it looks cute under overalls and stuff, so I will probably keep it for that reason. Also, the cost per wear for this thing is pretty high. This little polo is actually super cute. Kind of gives me very rounded shoulders though. If I haven't worn this orange top in the next year, it's gonna have to go next year when we do this all again. Am I too nice for this whole process? This I'm keeping for sentimental value. It's also a very cool t-shirt. It's the first year I went to Coachella. This is such a festival look. Pink hair, pink top, pink pants. And I'm trying to decide if I keep the pink hair still for the rest of the year or go blonde again. Now there's a lot of things in my wardrobe that I keep just in case I want it for a music festival. This is one of them. That's why I haven't worn a lot of the pieces in my wardrobe because I keep them for a music festival. I should just pretend I'm at a music festival all the time. I'm not gonna try on this top, but trust me, it's cute. We got animal print on one side, plaid on the other. Me and my Nana made it, reversible, love it. Just takes an ungodly amount of time to try on, so that's not happening. I went thrifting recently and I was like, I really want a cute structured puff sleeve top. And then I went to the thrift store and there's one sitting there, on the sale rack, I think it kind of makes me look wider, but who cares about proportions? Now, vintage button up is always so good for layering. I get so many compliments on this one, especially because the back has this cool like button detail. It's just not working for me. The pattern is like a little bit hard to style sometimes. It also is the wrong length. I like a shirt to be just under butt level and this is cutting me off at my widest point. So if you want this top, go find me on Depop. This one, 
checks all the boxes. Boom, Just imagine it with like some black flowy pants and a cool like bikini top. Very festival vibes. This one has a lot of coverage. Down the thigh. I mainly got this for my boyfriend, but he wasn't here, so I stole it for myself before he could see it. I think the sleeves hit me at a weird spot on my arm. I will keep it though, because I hope he'll wear it. Oh, Nikki! All right, it looks good. Check it out. Get out of here. That's her joke, actually. Yeah. I know. It's my Hopefully joke. It. Goodbye. It. Okay, I guess we're into long sleeves now, but <laughs> I guess Nick's back in the room. This is how he actually wants to style it, I suppose. Australian version. Good day, good evening, and good afternoon. Anyways, I think we're going to do long sleeves now, but I've definitely forgotten a lot of stuff just randomly sprawled around my house. I haven't really worn it that much, but it's just got cool sleeves. I no longer have room on the rack, so I need to move those. This is the shirts I'm keeping, and this is the shirts that I may be getting rid of. I got this crazy long sleeve recently thrifted. Have I worn it? No. It looks like Bert and Ernie or something. I am determined to wear it sometime. I got this shirt a year ago. I haven't worn it. It kind of makes my boobs look uneven. It's just a stripey off the shoulder top, which I love wearing with overalls because it's nice to have a little slutty shoulder moment. I also have the same top in a turtleneck. Can I be bothered trying on turtlenecks today? Probably not. We're keeping this one. We've got more. We got a basic white turtleneck keeping because basics. Turtlenecks are just gonna mess with my hair. It's very loose in the waist. It's also very loose under the underarm. I will in fact be keeping this green one though. Now you're probably thinking, Jen, another orange piece. You're gonna hate it. It's kind of this cool mock neck, textured crop top. Kind of makes the boobs look good. It's just weird what climate you're supposed to wear this in. This one is also a bit looser, but it's cozy. It's so soft. Tops just must stretch out a lot when you wash them and you've had them for a long time. This is also stretched out quite a bit than when I got it, but I think it's still cute enough to wear. I feel like this gives the same vibe as the last top, but looks a little bit more chic and expensive. This is probably my most worn long sleeve recently. It's an elevated basic, really. Again, another thrifted piece that I have not worn, but I did get it in the summertime and it's about to be winter. It's got this tiny collar. I'll try wear it in the next season. I randomly got this for Halloween and I love it. I just think it's the perfect cut on my shoulders. This section feels like a hug. It also looks so amazing with this corset top that I thrifted. Keep in mind I thrifted it for $40 which is pretty high and it seems like thrift stores are starting to do that more and more often lately. I'm also having such a tough time actually getting this off. How did ladies do this back in the day? So far I the long sleeves were just Getting rid of two. Naturally, I have forgotten to show a lot of things because I sprawled around the house. This shirt is one of them. I've been such a vest girly lately. I think a lot of people are doing the like oversized vest look, but I, I need a little top and big bottom going on. This one's so freaking cute. Like look at the embroidery detail all over it. Have I worn it very much? No, I haven't. I just don't know how to style it. So can you guys give me some ideas? I recently picked up this white denim one in Tasmania, very cute. This is the denim one that I wear all the time. I also can wear it buttoned up. It gives me like negative boob. Because of the stitching, it goes inward into my boob, which is not quite the look I'm going for. This one I really recently thrifted. It's like a brown suede. The only thing is it's kind of weird under my armpits. So it's like too much fabric there. I think I'll try work out if I can style it and then if not maybe she will be depopped or something but I also need to work out how to clean it. You're probably thinking what the hell. <laughs> this was NYX. I've inherited it. It's a great festival vest. I kind of do look a little bit like a drug dealer but we got all these pockets. I always take so many cameras with me when I'm going Going to music festivals and this is perfect. I will be maybe taking it to Glastow this year. Let me know if you want me to style some festival looks soon because I'm keen to get organized. Then we got this kind of vest, like not, what kind of vest is that? I don't know what kind of vest this is. A knitted vest? Haven't worn it that much lately, but now that I've seen it again, I think I need to incorporate it into my day-to-day -day styles. Very uninformative, uneventful spring cleaning. Let's just pretend that the fact that I'm not getting 
getting rid of anything is intentional to show you that once you have your style, how you like to dress set in stone, you end up curating your wardrobe where you just don't want to get rid of anything. As you can tell, trend cycles don't affect me. I love yin yang pieces still. As much as I love this, it just does not fit right. I hate the sleeves on it. I wish it was just a vest so I could cut that off. But I think the length of the whole thing is also not my favorite and I can't really tuck it in because you'll lose half of the detail. Recently did some washing. Let's have a scour. We have this red top. I love it so much so we're keeping that. This has got to be the cutest but cheapest top that I've ever got. This is 50 cents and it goes really nicely with these jeans. I recently got this singlet which is so freaking cute. You also don't need to wear a bra with it because of the pattern on the front. This tie up little number, super fun. This is the closest I get to wearing neutrals. I think I figured out that my favorite kind of tee is like a white baby tee. It's like a reworked vintage thing. It's got something on the back. I have never worn it. So I almost think I want to sell it. Now I still have a lot of tees, knits, and just like everything else in my wardrobe, but that's gonna be another day because I need a break. So I'll see you then. So it's coming into winter, so I'm gonna guess I'm gonna wanna keep all of these. And I don't have time for the fun mic today because we mean business. Now this one is from Gander. It's a little bit frumpy, but I just love the color combo. And this one is from Paloma Wool that I got from Depop. I had my eye on it for so long and finally we got it. Although I kind of feel like it makes my shoulders look super frumpy, but I'm gonna wear it a lot this winter. I kind of forgot to show you this vest, which is awesome and reversible. This one is Holiday the Label. This one is Gander. It's very big and baggy and it's not very flattering. I don't think like baggy tops kind of suit me, but I do love wearing it around the house. This one is kind of an at home sweater. It's like a cashmere one from a family friend. I thrifted this one for my boyfriend and I just really love the colors. He never wants to wear it though. So um, like this video if you think he should wear it. This one is just like a little bit tight and a little bit itchy. It's from Gander and I do love it though. So I might see how it goes this winter. Now, as you can see, we got jumpers and I have them just for hot girl walks, wearing around the house and generally just to be comfy. So I don't really care about chucking these out because the practical. And can I say that this one has got to be such a prized possession. I mean, look at the arms, look at the Tame Impala thing, and look at the back. The coolest pattern. Now we're on cardigans. This one I thrifted a while ago. It's got a cool texture and it's good for layering. Honestly, a bolero like this is just the ultimate for me because I don't want to cover the cool top that I'm wearing. Even though in reality, it's just sleeves. I feel like every year I go to throw this out and then I'm like, no, maybe I'll wear it to music festival. Maybe I'll style it because it's cool like whimsy goth, but I still have not worn it. But I just don't know. It's so cute. It's got little flowers on it and it doesn't really cost much to keep it in my wardrobe. I bought this to go to a football game in America, except I have never worn it. I actually forgot I even had it. I think it could be cute for winter, like wearing it just like with no top underneath and having it as a top like this could be cool. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a good thing to wear to work. This is the cardigan that I chuck on with everything at the moment and I just washed it. It's kind of wet still. <laughs> but yeah, it's just such a like pinch Interest it girl kind of cardigan and I love it. It really gives me Phoebe Buffay vibes. I can't even say her name, but you know what I'm saying. Problem is all these clothes are super cute, but do I need this? Maybe it's a seller. Again, I'm loving these kind of witchy cardigan knit things that don't really like get in the way of the rest of the outfit because I hate putting on an outfit and then covering it with something warm during the winter. I love it. This is giving me ballerina. Like, take me to the ballet. And I'm really trying not to cop out in this video. Like, I am trying to try on as much as I can so you can see what it looks like, slash I can see what it looks like when I edit it and see if I really want to keep this stuff. This is a yes. This I got for free at an op shop. They had a free rack outside and I was like, this is cool. I could do something with it. I want to be able to pull off this cardigan, it's got the fluffiest little puffs on the sleeves and on the collar, but I always get scared to wear it. I think I need to try wear it some more. It's actually not that crazy. I think it's because it makes me look really 90s. 
We love this one. Keeping, keeping. I just thrifted this, so keeping, keeping. I like this, but I haven't been wearing it a lot recently, so I think it's going in storage. To me, this is like a party going out jacket. I just love the structure of it. I think this is a sell or donate, even though I love the color on it. It's just, it hits me at the wrong spot. This is like a classic everyday jacket. I think it's originally from Zara, but I thrifted it in London. I love that I don't live in Queensland anymore because I can actually wear these jackets. This is such a fun print, fun party shirt, but I've never worn it. So I might sell it. I might maybe sell it. I also have my favorite of all jackets at the moment, which feels like a blanket. And it is this bad boy from Gander. I ended up getting size extra, no large just so it could be like really big and baggy i need to move on to a category where there's more of a cull now i don't know if it's obvious but i'm a dress girly this one's a keeper this one's a cool print but it needs altering to be like here i was so excited when i thrifted this recent thrift find and it has pockets love it i can't bring myself to get rid of this this feels a little short at the moment so i'm thinking storage also storage storage i need an to this i totally need to wear this more she's a little bit tight we need to put her in storage i just thrifted this and i feel like it's just so comfortable i don't know what it is but i just feel frumpy in this i think i'm gonna sell it and this is just the perfect length for a skirt or dress love being able to see a little bit of ankle that's why i think i feel frumpy in dresses that are a bit shorter i want to attempt to wear this sometime why have i not worn it yet this is so cute and delicate but it's the wrong length. I've styled it before with like a white tiered skirt underneath. I think I need to find something that's more the style I want and sell this one. Anyone got any weddings coming up? I already know that I think I might sell this. Major, 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 yes. I'm keeping this even though I look like a primary school teacher. One of the hot ones though. And I love this one. This one needs altering. I want it more like this. This is a definite keep, but I'm not going to try her on because I know she tight. This is my great grandmother's slip. Keeping, 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 keeping. I'm keeping this. And again, this is a classic gen dress. I'm such a sucker for overalls and this isn't even all of them. This is my first ever pair. I just thrifted this one. I might sell this. It's a little bit small. And this one's a little bit big, but I like it. Keeping. This is so comfy for lounging here. We are keeping these. They got a cool pinstripe look. This is not actually overalls, but we're keeping it. It gives like 70s vibes. Keeping. So I recently depopped these, but they are just too tight. And I was so sad because I was really excited. This is a little on the tighter side, so we're putting it in storage. I'm still on the hunt for some brown tights to go with this one because it's so short, but I think it would look super cute in like 60s mod dress. I simply cannot bring myself to get rid of these overalls just yet, but they are the big bud press overalls rules that I got at a sample sale and oh, I just love them so much I can't I'm prepared to wait and see how much my weight fluctuates again in the next year and maybe next year I'll sell them I am just so thankful that Lucy and Yak sent me these and I do love them they're just so hard for me to wear I look a little bit clownish and I'm trying to go into my cool girl phase because I'm turning 30 soon. But I do love the Lucignac denim. Again, these are so beautiful and actually so close to fitting, but they don't. They are also big bud press overalls and I think what happened at the sample sale is they didn't have these in the size up. So I went with this size, which at the time fit me, but now I didn't think about future me. I wanted to wear them my whole life. So they're going in storage. This is a little tight but it might go in storage these overalls are utter perfection and if you've been here a while you would have seen them in pretty much every video and i must have a thing for red because <laughs> there's a lot of red there these are some levi's overalls that i recently thrifted so i thrifted these in amsterdam a couple of years ago and i have not stopped wearing them by calvin klein carpenter overalls now we got some jumpsuits and this is going in storage this is the size up i believe of the last one and it's so much bigger. I think Big Bud Press changed how they made their jumpsuits a little bit because this is way roomier and also like really long in the body. I actually ended up going this size so that my boyfriend could share it with me. <laughs> 
it's still cute and it's like super super comfy just so much fabric on me and this is the Lucy and Yak version which I believe fits me a lot better I think it would be super cute if both me and Nick wore both of our jumpsuits now I can see there is still so much left and I'm running out of steam so see you again tomorrow Pals, it's the final day of this closet clean out and today we got to tackle pants, skirts, hats, shoes and whatever else I forgot like this cardigan which I will be keeping even though I barely ever wear it because it's just like a good festival piece. It's really baggy and it never stays on my shoulders because I have like negative shoulder. It's just like a slant. So let's start off first with oh, putting my glasses on with pants. As you can tell there's way too many. 1, 2, 17, 21, and 27. Plus we got a lot of trackies that I'm actually wearing like 90% of the time. You just never get to see it. And I'm not throwing them out. Starting off first with these overalls. They are just a little bit too tight and to be honest they have fallen apart several times. I've had to get my nana to fix them. They look awesome as a like full denim look at a festival. Like hello, look at this little number. Probably too much for the normal human, but I ain't normal. These are pretty similar to the last ones. Basically trends from 2020 that are long and lost and gone but I will continue to wear them. I recently got these pants from Emma Holiday sample sale and they fit a little bit lower like you can see my belly button and I am so not used to that. I'm used to my pants being like up here. I like the color of these big bud press pants but they make my butt look so weird and they just don't fit right in the right areas. These big bud pants on the other hand I will tolerate because I love the pattern. Obviously since I've been wearing these the whole video I love these pants. Again I love Lucy and Yak so much. Just these pants aren't really my type. I don't really like the waistband being this elastic waistband but it is super comfy and flattering so someone else would love it. I I actually put these pants in my cell pile last time but then I changed my mind right at the end but I think they're pretty cute. I just feel like the, the corduroy is not so forgiving and sometimes if I'm feeling a bit bloated or anything you can see it or should I sell them? Now I'm looking at them again, I don't know. I really want these pants to fit. They just don't. They're really tight. I feel like the sizing for Holiday the Label or M on Holiday, whatever you want to call it, is really strange because my other pants were size large and these I think are size medium and they are pretty tight. It's a shame because I have this matching swimsuit that goes with it and I kind of like wearing it together. It's a bit Cosmo Wanda. This is also what tells you I haven't worn them that much. They still have the tag on. I feel like wide leg black jeans are a classic for me ultimate staple but I have not worn these in a while because they felt a little bit tight around the thighs. Now I'm gonna keep them until I find something that fits a little bit better and then maybe I'll think about getting rid of them. Also I think the length is a bit funny. I have some older ones but I love the length so much when you wear them with docs because it kind of like hits it's like Doc Martin boot and then the jean it's a little bit cropped I love that okay these are the other ones that I used to love so much and I love the length of as you can see they're like a cropped cut off kind of denim but they're the size down and they don't zip up <laughs> okay yet another pair of pants that still have the tags on but I have convinced myself that I'm keeping these for like a 70s party a music festival despite the fact that music festivals have all been cancelled what can I say checkerboard comfortable and they fit I love these jeans they just fit perfectly they are Levi's and I found them in the boys section at a thrift store one time the only downside is they're just so short like should I unpick the bottom I'm very Tempted. Should I do it right now? Am I gonna ruin my favorite pant? I can't. Mm, I might ruin them. What am I hoping to find underneath is just like a few centimeters more fabric. Please. Guys, we see some centimeters. And we're done with one leg. So it did give me a few extra centimeters, which I'm loving a lot more. And shout out to my friend Clancy. She had done this to her jeans and it gave me the idea. These are going in storage because they're a little bit tight, but I love them. These pants are super comfortable. It's not that they don't fit. They definitely fit. They just don't fit how I want them to fit. Honestly, I'm really scared to try these. I am obsessed with these pants and could I do them up? Probably, but I might break the zip. That's so beautiful, everybody. I don't think I can bring myself to sell them just yet. I think, I feel like my weight fluctuates and if you know your body, you know. Although after a minute of reflection, I am gonna try find them on Depop and then if I find them, I will trade them or sell them and get a better pair that fits me better. Okay, are you happy now? 
Are you happy? Here's my attempt of trying on these pants. <laughs> no. As expected, they're too tight. So these are actually insanely small. I did wear them once. They're size 28. I would say should be an Australian 10, but they fit like a 6 to 8. Like, what if I have a daughter one day and she's like, where's all your cool clothes? And I'm like, oh, I sold it all on Depop, but they're so cute. But I think I have to be realistic. I think I have to sell them. I don't think these are going to go with these shoes. Any trousers that have these kind of lines tend to do me wrong. They just make me more pouchy. You know, I'm going to keep them because I wear them a lot. I love these trousers, so keeping, 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 keeping these for the cool texture. Because fully convinced I was going to sell these pants. They're the Duff Avenue, whatever the fuck they are, I've written it on screen. <laughs> they're the tall ones, so as you can see, they're really long. I had the intent of buying them off Depop and then cropping the bottom, and then they were too big for me, so they've sat in my closet for at least a year. <laughs> yeah, I kind of feel like they are a little bit big, but the cool kind of big, they'll probably be up on my Depop because I realised that they look horrible. I think I'm getting delusional at this point. I lied. I have a lot more pants coming. So we got a lot of matching sets. So I wear this at least once a week and it's not actually a matching set. It's just like this jacket and these jeans that I just wear together because I think they just look perfection. I really like these jeans because finally I found jeans that fit me so good up here without suffocating me. The leg could be a tiny bit looser but sometimes it does get looser when I like do some of these. So yeah, I do love this and weirdly I got the same thing just coloured in, which is super awesome. I wore this to Splendor and I got everyone to like kind of colour it in, draw little pictures. I really love the eyeball detail. Now you're probably thinking, Jen, that's so wasteful that you just drew all over this and you probably don't even wear it. It's just a festival thing. It's actually not. I have worn this so many times. I just don't wear it if it's raining. Then we got this set, which definitely makes me feel uncomfortable. It's the pants. I just don't like tight pants, but the shirt, I love. Again, this fits, but the pants just are a little bit, they just look visually too tight. I think I'm going to put it in storage and see how it fits in the future. This is a little businessy for me, but I also never really gravitate to these pants because they're a little bit bunchy at the front because they do have these pleats. I was planning to wear it more over summer, but now somehow it's already like so cold. And this would be such a cool festival look. How have I not worn it yet? If you've been here for a while, you would have seen these. And I've literally worn them so much my Nana had to fix the crutch because they fell apart. This is quite possibly the cutest set ever and I got a matching hat. Yeah, I found it in Brick Lane and I love this set. It's so cute. Then we got this little vest and mini skirt combo. The top's really hard to like put on. And then we got the little skirt that matches. Me and my Nana made it. <laughs> So cute. So I definitely forgot to show you these pants, which were among my skirts. They're from a Fens. They're hemp, very comfortable. We're keeping them. This skirt is just my go-to recently. I love it with some docks and it's got this cheeky slit. It's corduroy, so obviously I was baited by it in the thrift store. I love this skirt. This one is honestly a little too long for my liking. I should probably just try all these on with loafers. What have I been doing? This skirt is so weird. I love it. As you can tell, I'm loving midi to maxi skirts lately. So recently I went thrifting with Pose and Repeat. Hi Ruby if you're watching. And I found this gorgeous skirt. It has these little like bow details on the side and it also has pockets which is amazing and it's the perfect length this one's pretty cute comfortable and a good length i have not worn this one this is a pleated skirt because you know i love the grandma chic and this one is the same vibe, just different flavor, and also it's popping open on the side, so I might have to sell this one. My mum made this, so I'm keeping it. This is entirely too short at the moment, but it's just so unique, so we're putting it in storage. This is so cute, but I've actually never worn it. Keeping this, just in case I need to be a schoolgirl. This was my great grandma's, so we're keeping it. And I think I was just way too optimistic when I thrifted this recently. Now to go through shoes, and if you've been here before, you'll know I have way too many pairs of docks. Now I don't want to go through every single pair because I have so many videos all about that. 
but let's just see if there's anything that I don't want anymore. I have had them since I got them in Japan and to be honest they're too small and I think my feet have grown a bit. I'm also contemplating selling these shoes which are super cute, they're just not my usual style. As you can see, I'm a docs girly at heart, but I'll just see if I wear them in the next few months. As you can see, I got a lot of hats and I'm keeping them all. This is my storage system. As you can see, there's already stuff in here. It's not too bad. Just like Harry Potter robes. Now to store things, I use a suitcase, but then I put a lot of these like little gel things that you get when you buy stuff in there so it stops moisture. I stupidly put everything that I'm selling slash storing in the same pile. So let's go through it again. This is all the stuff I'm selling or donating. The pile doesn't look that big, but there's some gems in here. This video is already such a monster, so I'm not going to show you how to actually depop things and the whole process of me depopping those because I already have a whole video, so check that one out. Or if you just want to shop some of those pieces or future pieces, my depop is at in the Wonder Years. But now let's have a look at my beautifully curated wardrobe. The next challenge is actually remembering to put things on depop, which I really need to do because I'm going on holiday soon and that will help fund my travels. Anyways, my name has been Jen. If you haven't already, please subscribe find me on depop instagram whatever at in the wonder years why did i say that so weird i'm so tired thanks for watching and until next time keep wondering